I don't know if this is going to come as a big surprise to folks, but Daniil Medvedev, the number two player in the world, it is the worst kept secret that he is not very good on the red clay. And that's obviously the surface that we'll be playing on this week in Roland Garros. Daniil Medvedev is only, you talked about Nadal being minus 10,000 to win his first match, Tsitsipas minus 3,300 or whatever it was. Uh, Medvedev is only checking in at minus 200 in his first round match. Now that is sort of unheard of for a number two seed to be that short, but that is what happens when you're this bad on, on the clay. We've seen Medvedev freak out and, and tilt. I like to call him tilt Medvedev when he does this. He, he's, he's hit the court. He's screamed out loud that he doesn't like playing on clay because his game doesn't translate there, Jesse. When he hits those flat backhands, they, they, they don't skid off the clay. They, they hang up for his opponents to run over and get to them. And he's just, it's impossible for him to hit through his opponents like he can on the hard court. So I do think that he will go down in the first round to a very talented Alexander Bublik. A lot of people used to say that he didn't have enough experience on the clay over the last year. He's just done nothing but dominate on this surface. He's got the feel to be a great player on the clay. He's had, he's been in great form. He's been improving and he's one of the most unique and talented players we have on tour. You'll be have a lot of fun watching Bublik if you bet on him here. And I also just think that he's, he's great value as the underdog. There is no w world in which Medvedev should be a minus 200 favorite. He went out in the first round last year in this tournament to, to Marton Pucevic. He's had some pretty bad losses on the clay. Bublik wouldn't even count, I don't think, as a bad loss. I don't think that he's really expected to even win this match. So minus 200 is very ridiculous odds. I definitely fade Medvedev.